Yo, yo, Josh, yo, back at it today with another creative episode. Today we're talking about DJI Osmo action and how we can make it really, really cinematic. If you're new to my channel, I love to modify things. I love pushing the boundaries of creativity and I absolutely love breaking the rules of conventional filmmaking. And today is no exception. If you think this is just an action camera, you're missing out on a whole world of immersive cinematography. There is enormous freedom when you consider sticking this camera in places cameras don't normally go. Like you're... You could literally fit the cinematic powerhouse into your coffee cup. And this is interesting because it's waterproof. You could brew coffee and get that point of view of coffee brewing around you. You might want to stick a couple ice cubes in there first so that you don't overheat the camera. But this is actually a shot that I want to see. Let's talk about settings real quick. So a lot of these shots are going to be static shots. So I'm not going to use rock steady stabilization. That function is amazing for action shots, but it crops in a little bit of the sensor and I want all the real estate. So we'll disable that first. Next, it has a de-warp function in here. Take the curvature of vertical lines and stretch them out so they look normal and then it crops that image as well. Again, I want the full sensor. I'll do all that in post, so I'm gonna eliminate that. But if you don't want that workaround, you should definitely leave that on so it doesn't have that fisheye look. Let's talk about monitoring. So now's a good time to download the Mimo app on your phone. That way you can have video village and you can see exactly what your framing is. But if you're in a hurry and you don't wanna do all that, you can literally hold down this side button right here, flips the image to the front, and now you got video village right on this guy. Go into your menu setting, make sure that full front screen off is selected. That way you get the entire image on that front preview so you can see exactly what's in frames. Okay, so obviously we're gonna make some sort of breakfast video, but where else could we stick this camera that could give us an immersive experience that is unlike normal filmmaking? Welcome to my little kitchen here. Because we're shooting so wide and we don't have shallow depth of field, the first thing I gotta do is actually clean up the kitchen a little bit, do a little set design, basically eliminate the distracting items that are gonna be in the frame. I know, we gotta clean. All right, now that the set is looking clean, let's talk about sounds. Because we're doing immersive sounds, let's eliminate wind reduction entirely. I think it comes set by default, so we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. Second thing, we have our little accessory USB-C microphone jack. And now we can use a professional microphone to give us more rich, more in-depth audio. A lot of the immersive underwater sounds, we want it to be waterproof, so I'm just gonna use the onboard mic and then just do a little finesse in post, and I think that'll work just fine. All right, so already I'm thinking fridge shot. The fridge shot has already been done though. It's been done by a million filmmakers. So how can we modify it and make it even more impressive? What if we mounted this on top of an item that we pull out of the fridge? That could be kind of interesting. I'd like to get some sort of shot where we see the burners. So maybe we remove that one, and we stick this. That's pretty dope. What's the operating temperature of the Osmo Action? Let's find out. All right, so this camera has eight times slow-mo. It can shoot 240 frames per second at 1080. So we can use slow-mo in our storytelling to heighten, to give weight to some sort of action that's happening. For example, we have this little key here. It's... See, I just dropped it. Now, if I had that in slow-mo, it would be so meaningful. Yo, buddy, do you have a toaster? You know where I can get one? Cheap. What do you think? Um, yeah, let's open it up. Hell yeah. Done. This is our toaster. 
coaster set up. If you're doing a production in LA and you need a good prop master, Zach is the man. And the number one rule, he's fun. He knows his shit and he's fun. All right, ninja hands, dude, ninja hands. only criticism about the Osmo Action is that the image looks a little bit too sharp. Now this isn't really that big of an issue, I can just unsharpen it a bit in post using DaVinci Resolve. And the funny thing is I arrived at a workflow that can give us a shallow depth of field. So considering we're doing a bunch of center composition items, we can draw a mask around our subject and then do a gradient blur around the rest and suddenly we can bring more of the attention into the subject just like what this lens is doing now, but with this little guy. All right, breakfast is made. Let's see what we created using just this camera. How interesting can making breakfast be? Is this your key? The Art of War Book Safe. I left links down below if you guys wanna get one of these. Did you guys check out that rack focus? I stumbled upon that doing the soft blur. You can actually just animate it with keyframes. So if you guys are interested in my post-process workflow, how I got the rack focus and unsharpened masks, as well as denoise and de-warping that footage, blow me up in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know that you wanna see that and I will put together a quick video on that. Anyway, this is Josh Joshio saying thank you very much, stay creative and go make some art. Nice little MacGuffin trick. The fundamental question, what is in your book safe?